My name is Ashkan Yekrang Safakar. My school is Louisiana State University and I'm working in electrical engineering department. And my work here today is Roll the Scaffold. It's a novel microfluidic platform for culturing adherent cells in large scale and in high density. So let me explain a little bit about it. So in uh, biopharmaceutics and tissue engineering, there is a strong need to culture adherent cells in large quantity, mainly to produce protein, to produce antibodies, or construct tissue engineering uh, fabrics. So uh, what they normally use is that they normally try a steel tank bioreactor or hollow fiber and multi-flasks, but they are very limited in their scalability. What I'm proposing today is the roller scaffold. It consists of these plastic sheets with the spacers that has the height of 100 micrometer every one millimeter. When you roll these plastic sheets on itself, it will form these microfluidic channels, which you can see in this picture. And cells are going to grow on the surface of these plastic sheets. So they're growing on the side walls of these microfluidics. And the media is passing through the pathing through this chamber and we put everything inside the holder so we can continuously uh, circulate media through it so uh, basically it is very compact by a reactor it has lots of surface area in a small uh, volume like for example when you compare it to conventional 2d culture the small roller scaffold has the equivalent surface area of 10 t t25 flask and the medium size uh, has the equivalent surface area of more than 70 T25 flask. And uh, the experimental setup is very simple. So if you look at here, we have the roll the scaffold placed here, and we have, a bio, we have the flask that we put our growth media in, and with the help of parasitic pump, we circulate the media continuously through this roll the scaffold. To, uh, to monitor the metabolic activity of the cells, we put two oxygen sensors on either side of this roller scaffold, which are measuring the uh, oxygen dissolved concentration. And by knowing the difference of these two values, we know how much oxygen the cells in the roller scaffold are consuming. So uh, the, the main advantage of this roller scaffold compared to the previous techniques is that in the previous techniques, cells are growing in the steel time by reactor and they are in a cell suspension. So there is a lot of turbulences and the cells are experiencing high shear stress. But in our case, since the media is flowing through the microfluidic, it will have a laminar flow and the shear stress on the cells will be very minimal. So, and also another big, another big advantage that our techniques has is that when you scale up these bioreactors, it will be bigger and you need more um, rev per minute, so it will put cells under more shear stress. But in our case, when you want to scale up, we just wrap more of these sheets around it, so the micro environment of the cells is independent of the scale. So, after characterizing this road scaffold, we tested different cell types. We first start with the CHO or CHO cells. We put CHO cells inside the road scaffold. And if you look at this graph, this graph is showing the oxygen consumption rate of the cells inside the road scaffold. So in the beginning, we put in 1 million cells. And over four days, they will grow up to 40 million cells. And when we compare the growth rate of them, they were very similar to what we use in 2D culture. And they were, these dashed lines are showing the uh, other literatures for the larger scale. So our growth rate was significantly higher to those. To show that the cells, uh, the micro environment doesn't change the, uh, how the cell grow, we tested this on medium sized roller scaffold. For the medium sized scaffold, we put in 9 million cells in the day one, and after day 10, we were able to culture about 1 billion cells in a small, a small bioreactor, which, is, which can hold in your hand. And if you look at this box, it will show the growth rate uh, for a small and medium sized roller scaffold. So changing the size of the roller scaffold doesn't change the growth rate or the doubling time or the oxygen consumption rate. So, um, in order to further investigate our techniques, we also tested embryonic stem cells, and embryonic stem cells also showed similar growth rate to what we see in 2D culture. We tested their pluripotency, and um, 
there was no statistically significant difference between the cells growth on the rotor scaffold and the cells grow on the 2D. Also, the cells maintain their pluripotency. We checked it with the OCT4. So, uh, for the future, we are trying to mass produce this with the with the help of this roll-to-roll -roll process. Uh, right now we are doing it manually, but for the future we will try to make everything the road road process. The sheets will come in, they will be UV imprinted, and then they will be cured, and then they will be wrapped around the, uh, a rod. So it will be a mass-produced and very affordable techniques. Thank you. Thank you.